The longer a person watches television, the more easily the brain slips into alpha level, a slow, steady brainwave pattern in which the mind is in its most receptive mode. Images and suggestions are implanted directly into the mind without viewer participation. An effective hypnosis is induced, and the viewer surrenders to the unending television image stream. Images of television violence stimulate the fight-or-flight instinct. But since it would be absurd to react to television violence, the viewer suppresses the emotion. Viewers are drawn back and forth on cycles of impulse and suppression. When the set goes off, this stored-up energy bursts forth in frantic behavior commonly associated with childhood hyperactivity. Television imagery is jammed together in a steady stream of information, fracturing your attention while condensing and accelerating time. These events would not happen in ordinary life. They are technical alterations only possible within the moving image media. Living in the rapid world of television imagery, ordinary life is dull by comparison, and often far too slow. People who immersed in the surrogate reality of television life deal on a daily basis with a reality totally unlike any that has preceded it. The image stream is a steady, mixed-up stream of real, unreal, and semi-real events. All of these events end up merging with each other and becoming just another set of stored imagery that have all similar reality values. I want the young motherfuckers in here tonight, no matter what your nationality is, turn the motherfucking TV off for one week. And see if you can survive. Motherfuckers are going to a television junkie motherfucking mode. Ain't no TV. I need my remote, nigga. I'm Jones. It's called television programming. Hi, I'm Fox San Antonio's Jessica Headley. And I'm Ryan Wolf. Our, our greatest, greatest responsibility, responsibility is, is to, to serve, serve our, our Treasure Valley communities. The El Paso Las Cruces communities. Eastern Iowa communities. Mid-Michigan communities. We are extremely proud of the quality, balanced journalism that CBS4 News produces. But we are concerned about trouble and trying to be responsible, one-sided news stories plaguing our country. Plaguing our country. The sharing of biased and false news has become all too common on social media. More alarming, some media outlets publish the same fake stories without checking facts first. The sharing of biased and false, false news, news has, has become, become all too common, common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming, some media this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. 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 They telling you visually the program. You being programmed. You watch it on the news. It was on CNN. It's true. I seen it on Fox. It's real. It's bullshit. You know Obama ain't running shit. Puppet on the string. That nigga ran for office and said, I'm going to stop both wars. Didn't he just send 60,000 more troops to Afghanistan?
the television, the television, the television, the television. Never watch the television, the television, the television, the television, the television. Now I also mentioned too that a fellow that uh, that uh, has been in touch with me for an awful long time, his brother was in the CIA, or is in the CIA. He will never talk about the CIA to him. I mean, he'll never give anything away whatsoever. He said one bit of advice. He said, never watch the television. Never watch the television. It's the greatest scientific indoctrination tool ever devised. Haven't you figured that out? It's changed the whole culture of nations, not just one nation. Why do you think it was mandatory that everybody in Britain have access to televisions by the government? Why do you think China is under the, the same program to get everyone with the TV right now? Because they love to have you entertained. Do you really think that? And India is on the same route as well right now too. Most of your ideas and your opinions and how you emulate because you emulate things, you mimic what you see. As Charles Galton, Darwin and others have said in the past. It becomes you, you become it. And that's what's happened. It's been very, very, very successful. Never watch the television. You can't watch a movie unless you do it critically, if you watch it critically. Not there to enjoy it. Remember what they say, it's your emotions that get you on. And it's interwoven all these emotional themes all through movies. You're played like a harp. And they embed ideas in you, into you, along with the movies and predictive program too, so you'll accept that which is still to come. And you'll, and you'll behave the same way as the characters in the movie when it comes. Oh well, what can you do? I'll just watch much music or television. You're given a mind of your own, and you've got to use it for yourself. And believe you me, if you ever had a nation or wanted a nation, you'd have to make sure that everyone took their turn. Everyone took their turn. Just like jury duty to go in and oversee the guys that are supposed to be taking care of everything on your behalf. It's a tight club right now. It's been like that forever. Because they never intended to give you anything called democracy. Or, in fact, a republic. Gangs and fraternities run the systems of the countries. That's how they run. And under taxation, taxation, and it's true what Marx said, and it's true what Lenin said, that with that part of it, all, all wealth comes from labor. And tax is another term for labor. When they take your labor from you and give you nothing back for it, that's called stealing and slavery. Slavery, folks. But no teacher told you that, did they? Never watch the television. I want the young motherfuckers in here tonight, no matter what your nationality is, turn the motherfucking TV off for one week. Is everything in place? The Matrix is everywhere. It is all around. You are a slave. We are their cattle. We are being bred for slavery. In order to change a human being. No. I don't believe it. It's not possible. Let me out. Let me out. We could be pets. We could be food. But all we really are is livestock. Human beings are a disease, a cancer of this planet. You are a plague, and we are the cure to the real world.